Hello everyone, long time no see. I, I took about a month off from posting videos because of... Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I, I sort of started uh, focusing on other stuff and university and stuff, so I kind of like was like, eh. But I have been posting some stuff on my Instagram, it's just that I haven't had the will to like put condense everything into a video and I didn't want to start like posting random charts again, so... Anyway. So... I didn't know if I wanted to make this video, but I figured since I have been doing a series on it, I may as well just conclude that series. So, if you remember, my last videos were about small of my last three videos. And the thing is, I was prepping for this competition that I'm gonna not say its name so I can feel better about the comments that I'm gonna add a little bit later. Um, but yeah, I was prepping for this competition. Uh, I realized about the competition like five weeks in advance. And so, you know, I was following a more volume blog, so to speak, within my training. And so I went on a peak and I did a small of junior for that peak. It, everything was going relatively well. Um, one of the things that I didn't like is that I could have asked, but at the same time, like the way that they promoted, it felt like I knew the answer, but it was wrong. So, the squat, the competition was a squat and deadlift event, it had no bench press, no overhead press, nothing of the upper body really. It was just squat and deadlift, I competed in both events. Now, the squat was a squat with wraps, I didn't know that, and by the time I learned that, I was about a week out from competing, so... I know that there is some technique component to wraps, I didn't have wraps, I had never trained with wraps, and for all I knew I was just gonna mess up my groove, so to speak, by just placing them in, in the day of the competition, so I didn't thought that was a good idea, so I decided to compete with sleeves, I still did relatively okay. Uh, so for the squad, my first attempt was uh, 160 kilos, my second attempt was 170 kilos, and my third attempt was 180 kilograms. I got the first two, but I didn't got the last one. That's also something that I wanted to mention. Um, before I competed, there were a bunch of like kids, like sub juniors that were, that were competing. A few of them like legit got stuck in the bottom. Like the spotters had to like almost lift the back, uh, the bar of their backs to prevent them from, you know, getting injured and stuff. Like, like there were a bunch of first and comp uh, competitors that like. They weren't sure what way they should go, go for or whatever, and yeah, that kind of ended in them um, getting stuck. So by the time that I competed with the other juniors, um, I don't know, like the spotters were like super careful, whatever, with how the bar was moving. So it didn't just happen to me, but to a bunch of people, like even if your bar speed just slowed down by like the slightest amount, the spotters will intervene and take the bar off of you. So my 160 and 170, they move relatively fast, so I still got white lights. I don't remember 100%, but I think for the white, uh, for the one, for the 170 kilograms, I got two white lights. For the 160, I got three white lights. Uh, for the 180, I think I got, may have gotten one white light or something like that. So. Uh, as I was going up, once I was getting close to the top, I uh, faced a little bit of a sticking point, which I was pushing through, but like I didn't realize that the spotters had put, uh, got so concerned that they put their hands on the uh, plates, which kind of ruined it, but whatever. It is what it is, you know. I'm not going to claim that I can squat 180 because I didn't got 180 in that competition. I can speculate that I may have gotten it, but for practical purposes, I didn't got it. So I still haven't squatted 180. And yeah, this, but I, 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 like I will say that I feel rough, but at the same time I can kind of understand them, you know, they were kind of concerned to prevent anyone from getting injured and, you know, whatever. So anyway, after that I just, you know, rested for a little bit and eventually it was the deadlift time. I opened up with 180 kilograms and that was actually easy. <laughs> uh, I then did 195 kilograms. If you remember uh, my competition last year, I went up to 197.5, so this was just two and a half kilograms below that, but it also moved relatively easily. I then went to set a, uh, to set a PR of 202.5 kilograms. 
I will say that after comparing the footage with my last year's 187.5 kilograms, it moved faster. So I add five kilograms to my one rep max, and it moved faster. I'm happy with that. Like it didn't feel like an RP10, so to speak. Like I may have been able to pull a little bit more on that day. Whatever. Again, I'm not gonna work on speculations. For practical purposes, in that competition, I did 170 and 202.5 kilograms, which I guess are now my uh, PRs for those two lifts. So during my prep, as I have mentioned, I wasn't training like a, a lot of pressing. In fact, I wasn't training any pressing because I was dealing with wrist pain. But after that, I decided to focus more on like, you know, rebuilding my chest. Mm. I was bulking into a competition. Oh yeah, that's also something I could have mentioned. The strength to body weight ratio on those lifts was not actually as favorable as you may have uh, think uh, compared to my previous competition. So in my previous competition, I weighed in at 87.88.7 kilograms. On this one, I weighed in, I believe, at 94 kilograms. The reason for that was relatively simple. Last com uh, last year, uh, when I competed, like when, when I was a week out or something, I started doing a little bit of a cut. It was a, like a water and uh, bluff cut. Like you're just trying to not have a lot of food in your system, maybe dehydrate a little bit, but like nothing too crazy. And I lost about three kilograms doing that. This time, no, not really. I was weighing 94 kilograms a week before, and I honestly didn't even bother. The reason being that their highest weight class was 83 kilograms, their highest weight cap weight class. So I figure I'm gonna be competing as a super heavyweight anyways, because there is no way in hell that I'm gonna lose like over 10 kilograms within a month when I realized that when they announced the event, so to speak. So, so I didn't even care about the cut. Uh, in hindsight, I could have because that would have uh, given me a better strength to body weight ratio, but whatever. So I weighed in, food on my system, didn't even bother doing a water cut, I just went in and whatever. Uh, I was, it was, so I weighed it at 94 kilograms. Um, so yeah, uh, that, that was basically it. So the strength to weight weight ratios may not seem like they were um, that like they have improved, but again, keep in mind that I wasn't like uh, like didn't actually do any type of cut for this, like not even the most basic things, that, uh, like uh, not eat during the last twenty four hours prior to to a competition. I didn't even care. So anyway, uh, that was that, and after that, I have been mostly training, you know, in a Kanjukish style. I, can, I will go more into detail about my programming in another video. That's whatever. So yeah, that's basically about it. I've been focusing on front squats. I have been setting some nice PRs actually on that lift. And recently, I decided to take a small break for a front squat just for one week to give my my wrist a little bit of a break before I continue with another two week wave. So I did lower squats and I actually got 140 kilograms for nine reps, which, you know, that's, I believe one of the reps ahead of my previous AMRAP with that body weight, with that weight, sorry, barbell weight. It felt okay, it felt good, it really did. And that's where I am right now. So right now I'm getting stronger, um, um, focusing on base building, I'm not in a caloric surplus anymore, in fact, after the competition, I basically cut my calories to maintenance and just by doing that, I lost like two, well, like one and a half, maybe two kilograms, which again, as I said, like it didn't have to weigh 94 kilograms, literally just going, at the, going into maintenance the week before and I would have weighed in around 92 kilograms, but whatever. So yeah, uh, I cut down the food volume and stuff. And I'm currently on maintenance calories, trying to stay on 92, 92 and a half kilograms uh, for a little bit, at least while I f uh, feel like I've rebuilt my bench properly, which I have mostly done. So, like that was my original goal, but then I got like that one, that nice AMRAP with 140 kilograms for a set of nine. And after plugging it in a calculator, which I know they're not very accurate, that's actually very close to 180 kilograms. So I want to get 180 kilograms. Ideally, I want to get get it at this body weight because that will make it an even better strength to body weight ratio. 
so I'm not gonna be poking at least not for like the next the end of this training cycle so to speak I want to finish this training cycle roughly at this body weight between 92 and 92 and a half kilograms uh, we will see where I go from there um, sort of the soul power that comes in like towards the second semester of this year so for the time being I'm just prepping uh, you know, building my base, but also like improving the lifts and so on and so forth. Like I'm not planning to pick anything, although I may have a mock meet somewhere at the end of June or the start of July. Uh, it's not gonna be structured or anything, but I kind of wanna do it so I can get a more accurate presentation of like heavy lifts that I can then translate into a self power after going through the prep and stuff. Because it's, there is like a five to six month difference between the this one that I competed and that. So I figure having something that is a little bit closer, but not too close, so say half a point, like around June, July, that would be like the ideal zone because then I can use those numbers to give me a more accurate expectation of what I can try to go and get at that event. Uh, yeah, so that's basically where I'm at, uh, just sort of recomping for uh, the rest of this cycle. I'm probably gonna switch to a 100 kilogram weight class to be perfectly honest for the cell power uh, just so that I can actually you know don't have to worry about dieting to the event because as I am right now 92 kilograms feels comfortable if I want to make more progress eventually I'm gonna have to uh, bulk and like long term I'm planning to switch to 100 kilogram weight class anyways so yeah I, I figure I may as well switch but uh we will see about that, like I'm not a hundred percent sure if I want to do it this year or if I want to compete in the 90 kilo kilogram weight class one more time, but I'm probably going to switch to 100 kilo kilogram weight class, if not this year, next year. That's been about it for this video, see you guys next time, bye bye.